Previously on Cirque Stories, Ross Gibson gave us some insight on how he manages his life as a parent, husband, and Cirque du Soleil performer. If you missed last week's episode, click on the link in the description below. But don't go anywhere, because a new episode of Cirque Stories is about to begin. Commitment, passion, performance, countless hours of training. These are just a few of the things our dreams are made of. We are Cirque du Soleil artists, and we all have a story to tell. Behind the scenes, behind the makeup and all the costumes, this is unfiltered, raw, like you've never seen before. Welcome to Cirque Stories. Hi, I'm Christina Jones, and I'm your host for Cirque Stories. Every Cirque show has its own unique flair, and one of the things that makes the Beatles love stand out is that they're kids in the cast, otherwise known as the kids of Liverpool. We had a chance to see what life is like for these kids. Alberto, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, so I know that you perform in Ka, and your wife used to perform in O, and also your son Alex performs in Love, and your other son Zach is about to join him and perform in Love with him. What made you realize that they wanted to follow in your footsteps? I think there's no choice, no, in this family. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like we grow up, like, well, they grow up, me throwing them in the pool, doing handstands. So as soon as a friend of mine, Radesh, who used to be a love, he said, there's a position opening for the kids. So I asked Alex, Alex was seven at that time. He's like, yeah, I can, I can do what you do. He's like, yeah, can I do handstands and all that thing? He's like, yeah. So he. <laughs> Yeah, there was no choice. <laughs> awesome. Know. So what was the audition process like for him? They have to do, um, it's kind of like, it's fun. So they, they get all the kids together, they do some games, just to see how they react with each other. They, they have to choreograph a minute piece, like maybe like whatever it is, gymnastics, if you do gymnastics, or a minute of dancing, whatever is your, your strength. And after that, they do a choreography from the show and they see how they are, and from there, they choose them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how many boys are in the show? Uh, every night, there's four in it, but A, so they rotate. Okay, so how many shows a week does he do? They go four one day, four another, and they do a rotation, so they do one week, they do two days, mm -hmm. so they do four shows, and the next week, they do three days, so they do six shows. And what time does he have to be there? Uh, as long as there's no trainings, uh, 5.30, 5.45 is their call. Okay, mm -hmm. and what time does he get home after that? 11.30, the earliest. And yeah. he goes to school, right? He goes to school. Full time? Full time. From being in the show, what kind of lessons do you think he's learning? It's, uh, I think we live on experiences, no? Mm -hmm. uh, for us, uh, the person you're gonna become is the experiences that you live, yeah? So I think that he's living an experience that is incredible. Like, he's, uh, he goes there, there's a guy who does Luca, who does break dance. He's one of the best in the world. They surrender of amazing artists over there, especially Love, and has a, such a variety of um, artists, you know? So I think it's incredible for him. And how do you feel when you watch him on stage? Oh, I cry most of the time. <laughs> get really emotional. It's beautiful. And it's like he grows, he does more than I. The other day he was doing Rondo back salto, flares on the floor, air flare, handstand. I'm like, with his friend, he has another friend, Christian, and he's amazing, 12-year-old, and they do hand-to-hand -hand in the show. Do you think that Alex would like to answer a couple questions about his experience at Love? I'm sure. Yeah? Alex, what do you think? Uh, yeah. yeah? You want to go? <laughs> Say hi. 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 <laughs> so you perform in the Beatles' Love, correct? Yeah. How long have you been performing there? Two years. Do you have fun performing there? Yeah. Do you like hanging out backstage? Yeah. Yeah. Are you really close with all of the other kids in the cast? Yeah. What are some of the things that you guys like to do backstage? Uh, there's a skating ramp backstage, <laughs> and uh, we like playing on it. Yeah. What do you get to do on it? Run on it. <laughs> they yeah. They climb all the way up and they slide all the way down, yeah? yeah. On top of doing shows, you also have to go to school, right? Yeah. So do any of your friends at school know what you do? Yeah. Yeah? And what do they think? They think it's cool. <laughs> they think it's cool. Have any of your friends come and seen you in the show? Yeah. Yeah. 
In third grade. In third grade. And what grade are you in now? Fourth. Fourth grade. When your friends watch you in the show, are they able to find you? They can say, oh, that's Alex yeah. right there. Yeah? Yeah. And how do you feel when you get to perform for your friends? Normal. Normal? <laughs> you were not nervous at all? No? No. Wow. Do you ever get nervous when you're performing? No. no. The first few times, no? The first few times, more like the first time. The first time. Yeah. So do you think that when you get older, you want to perform in the circus like your parents? Yeah. Yeah? Do you have any idea what you'd like to do? Uh, break dance. So you do your own makeup for the show? Uh-huh. So what do you do? Walk me through the process. It's very simple. It's just foundation. There's a blush thingy. You, uh, we have to very put nice. on our nose and our cheeks. And then we have eyebrows. We put, um, I think it's mascara on our eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> How long does that take you? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Though if I have to go fast, 10 minutes sometimes. <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> we know that, yeah. <laughs> so if you had no responsibilities, no problems, no worries, you didn't have to go to school, you didn't have to do any of that, what would you do? I have no idea. That's a fair answer. Mm, yeah. Do you think that Zach would want to answer some questions? Uh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Zachy. Hi, Zach. Hi. How are you doing? Good. So I understand you're going to be joining your brother on stage soon, right? Yeah. When do you start? Uh, June 3rd. June 3rd. You excited? Yes. What are you most excited about? Joining my brother. So when you get older, do you think you're going to want to join your brother and your parents and perform? No. No? Why not? I like soccer. You like soccer. So you want to do this circus thing for a couple years until you get too tall. Yes. And then you want to stick to soccer. So what languages do you speak? Uh, we speak, uh, speak English, French, and Spanish. All right, well, you have me beat. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's show us some of the fun things that you guys like to do. Okay. Like hand to hand? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. One thing's for sure, talent runs deep in this family. It's incredible to see how much they love and support each other, no matter which path they choose. Hi, thanks for watching Cirque Stories. I'd really love to hear from all of you. Which Cirque artist would you like me to interview next? And remember, you can always catch me on the O stage at the Bellagio on the Las Vegas Strip. And you can actually buy tickets right now by clicking on the link. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss the next episode of Cirque Stories. I'll be interviewing the one, the only, Brian Dewurst. As always, you can look below for more information and links. See you next time.